backlinks are invaluable towards understanding the connections within your notes and ideas. Unfortunately, there are some limitations. If you take notes using bullet points like me, then the context the backlinks view provides might be useless. Second, you can only view backlinks of the current note you're on, so there's no easy way to preview these links. Thankfully, that's where community plugins come to the rescue. You can have the ability to see surrounding context of the link, like its parent and children bullet points, as well as easily hover over link badges to see the backlinks. Here's how you can enhance your own backlinks in Obsidian. So first we'll head to Settings, Community Plugins, and then search up Influx. I already have it installed on my main vault. So essentially, this plugin gives you a view at the bottom of your notes, so you can see all the backlinks and their contexts. It also has more customizability than the default backlinks plugin. Core plugins, we can see settings for backlinks is very empty. But with Influx, there's a lot we can adjust. There's different ways you can sort these backlinks, whether you want it to be newest or oldest first. Also change what you're comparing, like the created date or modified date. And you can also set a hard limit on how many backlinks you want to show. There's also some extra things to determine where you want this influx view to be shown and which notes contribute to populating the influx view. So yeah, if I open up a note I have on Obsidian Influx, oh, you can see that now we have this view at the bottom, which contains all the backlinks of the note. And if we compare it to the normal backlinks, you can see that it only shows the line that contains the link, but over here, you can see that it adds the parent bullet points and the children bullet points as well. The influx view also shows the header of the note, which is calculated just by the largest header, but in my case, that header is usually the title of the note, so it's kind of useless. So I'm going to disable that. If you want some more examples on what it can look like, I'll open up my Zettelkasten note. You can just compare the two. So as you can see, it shows quite a bit more context for some of these notes, which is useful if you don't want to have to enter each note to see the surrounding details. But if we were to open up a map of content I have, or just a very connected note, which for my case is decision making, if we head to the bottom, it's kind of useless. I, they're pretty much the same. Since I link to maps of content without much context, it's not as useful. So this might be a huge upgrade to the current backlink system already, but there's one more plugin I wanted to go over. This one currently isn't in the community plugins page, so you'll have to download a different plugin called Brat. So for plugins that are still in early beta and haven't been reviewed by Obsidian, you would have to use this plugin to download them in your vault and automatically update when there are new changes. So to download this plugin, you have to go to the GitHub repository, copy the URL, go back and then type in brat, add a beta plugin for testing. I'm going to paste it and then you would add the plugin. And you would also make sure to enable it in here. I already have it downloaded. So what Strange New Worlds does is add these badges at the end of links and also in the top right of notes to show how many times it's linked. And as you can see, when I hover over it, it will show all the backlinks. And if you click on the context block, it will directly jump to where it is. If we were to head back to the influx note, this is a note I made just to show the differences between how deep the context is displayed for each plugin. With the normal backlinks, it can only show the line. With influx, it shows parents and children. But with strange new worlds, opens over here, we can see that it shows a lot. It also shows the siblings of the bullet as well. You can click on this to open it over here in a new pane, which you can also move around like the backlinks plugin pane as well. So what can this be used for? 
This makes it really easy to aggregate information related to certain topics. If you use daily notes a lot to take temporary notes, this may prevent the need to move them into more permanent notes. So if I go to my current daily note, I have a section for content log for any content I consume and its related ideas that spring from it. So let's say I watch this video you're watching right now on Obsidian Backlinks Plugins. And let's say it was related to a note called Backlinks. And then we can mention how Influx and Strange New Worlds add more context in comparison to normal backlinks and something else important i don't know so now if we create this note then we'll be able to see it in the backlinks view but of course you might want to organize this information in a more structured manner which is where you would then move it into here one of these plugins, or maybe both of them, could be a nice addition to your vault. If you found my advice to be helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. This has been John Maverick. Stay mindful.